Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. So now I'm going to show you how to find the surface area of a hemisphere. Okay, so the first thing then is that you need to know that the surface area is the area of all the faces on the 3D shape. Okay, now a hemisphere is half a sphere. So it has two faces. So it has a curved face or curved surface at the top and then it has a circular face at the bottom okay and you'd also need to know the formula for working out the surface area of a full sphere which is 4 pi r squared this is normally given on your formula sheet in most exams okay so let's have a look at the example here then so we're going to find the surface area of this hemisphere so it has a radius of 6 centimeters so let's start off with the circular face at the bottom okay so to work out the area of this face here you just need to use the formula for the area of a circle so we do pi times radius squared so it'd be pi times 6 squared because 6 is the radius which is halfway across so I'm going to try and do this. Mo I'm going to try and do most of this question without a calculator. So we're going to leave it in terms of pi. So six squared is thirty-six, and we're just timesing that by pi. So we can write that as thirty-six pi. So we just need to now work out the area of the curved surface at the top. So to do this, we need to use the formula for the full sphere. So that's 4 pi r squared and then we need to divide that answer by 2 okay so if we do 4 pi r squared so again if we substitute the radius it'll be 4 times pi times 6 squared okay so 6 squared is 36 and then we've got to times that by 4 so 6 4 is a 24 3 4s are 12 plus the 2 is 14. So we get 144 pi. So remember that's the area of the full sphere. So we need to half this answer. So that will give an answer of 72 pi. So these answers here are the area of the two faces that we have. So the final thing to do then is add these two numbers up. So we've got 72 pi and 36 pi. So that gives us 108 pi. So that is the exact answer. If you do want it as a decimal, just type in 108 pi and SD it. So it'd be three three nine point three and it'll be centimeters squared. So either answer is fine. So let's have a look at part B then. So this time we've got a hemisphere and we're given the diameter this time, which is sixteen. So I'm just gonna half that sixteen to give the radius which is eight centimeters. So that's the number that I need to put into the formulas. So if we start off with the area of the circle at the bottom, so to find the area of a circle, it's pi times radius squared. So we do pi times 8 squared, 8 squared is 64, so we get 64 pi. So we then use 4 pi r squared to work out the surface area of the curved surface so it'll be 4 times pi times 8 squared so 8 squared is 64 and then we've got to do 64 times 4 so that's 256 so we get 256 pi and then Remember we need to half this answer because 
that is the surface area of the full sphere so we divide it by 2 okay and that will give us 128 pi so these two numbers are the areas of the two surfaces so we just need to add these together so we go 128 pi add 64 pi okay so that gives us 192 pi so that is the exact answer again if you want it as a decimal just put it in on your calculator 192 pi sd so that is 603.2 centimeters squared so i hope you like this video if you did make sure you like and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye